Hello students, I'm here today to talk to you about product differentiation, if it works, again. I feel like that's happened to me 100 videos this semester, but it's been a great semester with you guys. Um, product differentiation, differentiation uh, the need for product differentiation. With no product differentiation, even one competitor can force economic profits to zero by lowering their price. Sort of like cartels, where if you know, someone goes below, it, it, everyone has to work together or the prices get dropped to where, yeah. Problem. So there's a rival, there's an incentive for your rival to undercut you. The solution is to differentiate your problem, product. Differentiating your product raises bargaining power and profitability. Think of Coca-Cola versus Pepsi or Stowe Rand Coke. Because of Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola is different. It looks different. It, it's got a different marketing, marketing, branding, all that and a different taste, but the differentiation of the product gives them extra bargaining power and it makes them a lot more money. Non-price competition. You can attract sticky customers through product differentiation. These are customers that have a hard time switching brands. So by doing different features, quality, customer service, design, style, and so many more possibilities. How to position your product. So it's a trade-off between two considerations. The demand side of positioning you're going to be like competitors and the supply side of positioning you're going to be unlike competitors. Real world entrepreneurs choose product positioning to balance these two factors. Here's the thing with Kellogg's, where you can see nutritious versus sweet for their products. You can see they're all very varied. Fruit Loops being the absolute sweetest, Cap'n Crunch being my favorite, that I, favorite cereal that I can buy in America. And I don't know how to pronounce that last one. Um, uh, Cheerios, Goline, and Muesli are more nutritious on the nutritious side, but they're all very different, differentiated products. You wouldn't get them mixed up with one another. There's a clear difference, even though the price is probably around the same for all of them. Now, here's a one that I like a little better. It's a little easier to understand for me. Restaurant chains product positions. So convenient versus the dining experience. So for McDonald's, it's all about being convenient. Chipotle, it's also a lot more convenient, but also the dining experience, and it moves along until you get to Nobu, which is some high dining stuff that I have never been able to experience in my life. But hopefully you guys get to one day. Hopefully I get to one day. Um, so you see it a lot more in the supply side. There's a big supply side difference between McDonald's and Nobu. They're, being, they're trying to be completely different. They're trying to hit completely different markets. There's no need for them to be more like each other, but they want to be really different. Uh, to attract completely different people. So it's really about the people that you're trying to attract. Basic rules of thumb, if price competition is particularly intense, you want to differentiate your product. Think of Coke and Pepsi again. Very, very similar product, very a lot of competition. If your product's different, you're more likely to get bought. If uh, price competition is subdued or subtle, like in politics where you cannot directly buy votes, then you want to minimize any differences that you can feel to as many people as possible. That's why most of the uh, politicians you see are very close to the center. Although I think it's whatever. America's got weird politics. Not gonna talk about that. Advertising's role in product differentiation. It can increase, the goal of advertising is to increase your firm demand, not market demand. Only firms selling differentiated products should advertise their products. For example, gas companies have no reason to advertise gas. No one cares where they're getting their gas from. But Pepsi and Coke have to advertise their product to show some difference to it. In a quick summary, product differentiation helps you compete with the products that are similar. The demand side is positioning you're good to be like competitors. Supply side is positioning you're good to be unlike competitors. Differentiate your product is if competition is intense and don't if competition is not intense. Advertising should increase your firm's demand, not market demand. Only firms selling differentiated products should advertise. Thank you so much, and I will see you in the next video.